Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing some Blood Dome 99. I think it's important in this one to read the plot, so I'm going to do that so you guys know what we're dealing with here. 15 years from now, in the distant year of 1999, Ronald Reagan is midway through his fifth turn. Under his economic oversight, the rich have gotten richer, while for most of us, the American dream has drifted farther and further from reach. Unable to afford healthcare or feed their own families, many desperate Americans only have one option left. Blood Dome 99. <laughs> Fight to survive, or will it be your blood trickling down the walls of the Blood Dome? Uh, and then controls Wazda to move, move and aim to shoot, space to dash, earn money by killing other contestants, buy upgrades, and reach 300,000 to buy your freedom. This is where this game becomes very, very interesting. Also, it seems very uh, loud. Um, turn it down a little bit. Um, the explosions i love that so this is a retro wave style bullet arena heaven game now what separates this from other games in the genre and has me super interested i've done a couple runs already and i wanted to do more uh it still sounds loud i don't know i don't know why Whatever, it's fine. Um, <laughs> what makes this one interesting, uh, I started with some machine gun, or I mean, I started with pistol and katana, so should I SMG? Um, is you see the like money counter at the bar, at the, at the top, the money bar at the top. So you get money for every kill. And your goal isn't really based on time, so much as you're just trying to get to 300,000. Now, every upgrade you buy costs a different amount of money. And you can also skip upgrades when you level up to gain more money. And the faster you get to 300,000, the faster the boss appears. I've not beaten the boss because what happens is I end up getting to that amount of money too quickly and I'm not strong enough. So there's this like interesting dynamic going on for me. Um, I talked to the developer. Um, I minimized and it minimized the music, but I'll just say uh, currently they're in early access. They're planning on new game modes, difficulty modifiers, so like endless and survival mode, alternate aim modes, including auto aim, arenas, bosses, more guns, perks, cosmetics. They want to change the color palette, stuff like that. The game is also also uh, not out for 12 days. I didn't realize it wasn't out yet. But you can play a demo on Steam. There'll be a link in the description. I do not know the price point of the game. I imagine it won't be very much. But like I said, um, and something that I hold through this channel is like, I don't really put up games here on my channel that I don't enjoy. I try to stay positive. And I, uh, you know, I did two runs of this before I made this video. And immediately after playing the first run, I wanted to do another one. Now, this isn't going to be for everybody, obviously, but uh, <laughs> if you don't mind the graphics and you like that, like, retro feel, it's kind of nice. So then the upgrades are kind of interesting. I mean, these are basic, but they evolve pretty quickly. Um, and then you see, like, you could take you skip your perk to get money if you want, but. Uh, Hedgehog. And then there's unlockables when you finish a run. Increase range of all weapons and slightly increase accuracy. That seems fine. There seems to be a system in which you have to have certain upgrades to unlock new, uh, different upgrades too. I don't know exactly how that works. Uh, honestly. But, you know. Part of the fun of these games is exploring. And this is, I feel like this is the type of game that I'm not going to put 30 hours into, but I might put 10 hours into. And, you know, if it's a $10, $10 game or whatnot, then it's pretty good. Uh, rubber Bullets versus Sponsors 2. So Sponsors gives you 1,000 times your current level every time you level up, which is pretty good. Rubber Bullets seems insane. 
And now also at certain uh, money values, it feels like it might be time too. I'm not sure. I think it's money values though. We're going to get additional weapons. Okay, I think it's time. And you got that like, sweet, like, announcer guy. Reddit line. Um, I'm gonna buy this rifle. Because I haven't used it before. Also, it bounces. So that's pretty neat. I don't know how it's gonna bounce, but that's fine. And then you get, like, weapon-specific upgrade. Rifle bullets penetrate two additional targets. We don't really need that. Projectile melee attack, still damage, and area slightly increased. Uh, I don't like this upgrade. Reduce damage for a short time after getting hit. After getting hit. I'm going to take it to see if it leads into anything else. But that's really the only reason. And there's like different enemies as you go. You get like some vehicle type enemies. It's, I don't know. If you're into this, like, Running Man, Robotron, old 80s shit type of game. Ooh, SMG bullets have a chance to explode. Also, Collector is really good. Like, if you notice, the pickup range is very small on these XP orbs. But yeah, I talked to the developer. Like, he sent me a key a week or so ago. I just had a chance to play it now. Um, I talked to him over Discord. I was like, hey, um... Is there any plans for or is there any like current unlockable way to change colors? Because I think that would be like super cool. Has more damage and is less accurate. Um Well Okay. And he's like, not currently, but that is planned. Apparently there is a regular Blood Dome. Uh not Blood Dome 99, but it was like a he said a one-bit game, which I don't even know what that looks like. But it had color swapping palettes and whatnot. So in the future, this will have different colors and stuff. And I, and I, I think that's a good, uh, I think that's a good idea. Double tap with the rifle. Seems like a good idea. And you can like turn off the like quote unquote blood effect on the ground if you want. But I don't know it, it, it <laughs> again, this is just one of those types of games. that just makes me feel good. I don't know. Maybe it's because I played a lot of retro games in my youth due to like my uncles being of a certain age in the 80s where they played a lot of these types of games. So they I played a lot of these types of games with them. Like they introduced me to me when I was young. So, I mean, obviously, this is way better than those games used to be just because of the year we're in and like the mechanics are still there it's just these games play so smoothly now like the aiming and the movement here feels so good i will say i did have to turn off screen shake because it was making me a little dizzy you y'all might like it i i did not um but there was an option to turn it off and that's what matters um Drops last longer before disappearing. That's pretty cool. But what about increased rifle damage size, but decreased range? I don't mind so much about decreasing range since we have um, bouncing bullets. Also of note, I have not seen any way to heal at all. So once you take damage, like you've taken damage, bigger is better. Yeah, I think Running Man, it's a reference. If you haven't seen The Running Man, go watch The Running Man. And if you like The Running Man, you'll probably like this game. At least in the short term. This also, I, I don't know if this is going to be like Steam Deck compatible, but this does seem like the type of game that, you know, you'd play on Steam Deck for a bit. The music's kind of baller. Um, dash charges faster. That's cool. I think it's time for sponsorships. Two. Now, some of the upgrades get very expensive. Uh, I've seen some that cost like 80,000. 
and the enemy difficulty increases at like there's more enemies and higher like tier enemies that seem to go fat get harder as time goes on i should say uh fires faster and is less accurate but does less damage per bullet supercharger sure oh it's just going crazy now okay sure so yeah it's got like interesting upgrades there's i don't know how good this smg actually is comparatively to i think the pistol run i did on my first run was probably the best the katana was pretty cool it, i mean it's it, it's a katana but it's really just like a block in front of you right uh trigger finger yes increase attack speed i, I like that We should be getting a, a third weapon here pretty soon. Now, this one might be based on money because I'm pretty sure last time I got it around 150,000, like on both my previous runs. Increased range and accuracy. Penetrate two additional targets. Thank you. He's sending me a little friend. Um, boomerang. I have not used the boomerang. As I had to unlock that before. So let's use the boomerang. The boomerang looks like a boomerang. There's some weird things. There's like a bee gun and it shoots like little bee looking for things. Boomerang is obviously shooting like bee. Uh, uh, Could you really be halfway there? Could. Hmm. Well, I don't think uh, that's good enough. Um, You're going I love the commentator. And then once you get to, you know, you get your 300,000, right? And then they cheat and try to come and kill you. I had to cough and pause the game. But also one thing I wanted to bring up since it's here, it shows you all the buffs that you have and it has tool tips for them. Really nice thing to have in this, in this genre. And that I absolutely stress that any game coming out has is that you can pause and look at what's like talents or traits you've picked up. I kind of want collector one. I mean, more level ups give us more money. It gives us more stuff. I'd like to get some big upgrades though, because we're getting close to summoning the boss here and I don't really want to do that yet. Let's take the thorny hedgehog. And I don't even know if it, if the game ends after the 300,000 right because i haven't beaten that boss yet because he's like brutal uh rubber bullets again that can't be bad although we are about to summon the boss when we level here maybe that's the downside of taking too many sponsors which is what we did Fire two extra boomerangs at every hundred hits you land with any weapon. That doesn't seem too bad with an SMG. We fire like a lot of bullets. But now here comes this dickle. Um, the metal man. I think we have a better loadout for killing him this time. Ow. I should probably have dodged that. Oh, no. He has multiple attacks. It's not just the one thing. And you start getting, like, smothered. Um... I wish we could reroll for money. That is one thing I would like. I'm gonna take penetrating rifle bullets. Might help. Stop shooting balls at me. Uh, 
Uh, we're about to be stuck in the corner of the Blood Dome. I'm gonna go up. Oh, he's only at half. Ooh. Oh, this is not good. We are in so much trouble. I think we're gonna die. No! It's over. Game over. We lost 79,000, but we got some money. Uh, new vending machine. Discerning class. Choose 20 different weapons. New vending machine. Refrigeration. Die three times. Okay. So then you go to the lobby. There does appear to be some Twitch integration here. Um, allows people to vote. And then you go over to this vending machine. And you're allowed to buy things. We have 580,000. So you could buy discerning customer perk, regeneration perk, a minigun, spread shot, perk compendium. We're going to buy regeneration for healing and then the minigun. And let's do another run because, um, honestly, I enjoy the game. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. Is it always one of the three starting weapons? It does seem that way. Alright, let's take the pistol. I do tend to like the pistol. I don't know if I love that there's only three starting weapons, like, every time. But maybe that's something that changes in the future. Again, this game is dropping an early access not full release so you know you guys know the deal at this point passive income so we can get a thousand every 10 seconds or every time we level up we get a thousand times our level i'm gonna take spawn one level of sponsors because you do have to get, you have to have money because you're going to want to buy upgrades. But again, I think last time I got too much money too fast and we ended up in trouble. The beginning is a little slow. I will, I will 100% say that. Kind of wish there was a few more enemies to start. We can, I think here we just passive income. Don't really think about it too much. Just keep killing all the people in the blood dome. That guy is bigger. He almost got us. I'm trying not to get hit with, you know, considering pistol hand cannon pistol shoots bigger bullets that do more damage the wife texts me so there's my daily uh you know wife video interruption those are bigger bullets but we move slower while we move we fire slower holy words batman we move slower while firing. There's like three words I'm trying to combine and I can't get them in the right order. There's only so many combinations. Aimbot? Do we get the aimbot? I don't think we need aimbot. I think I want dash charges faster. I want to see how much that actually makes a difference. I feel like this time we got a gun early, right? Uh, shotgun? We're definitely taking a shotgun. So you can hold down the fire button or you can, you know, click to shoot. Ow, that guy like blitzed us. That sucked. So yeah, they do plan to have like probably auto, auto fire at some point too, but that's not going to currently be in the game is my understanding on release 
Um, shotgun shoots twice in quick succession. Yes. That does seem to be like something I would enjoy. That double barrel. Pop, pop. I haven't really found any of the crazier guns yet, but you know. It is what it is. Um, long shot seems like obviously great. Right? Bigger shotgun range. Bigger pistol range. All these purple men are after me. Um, huh. Passive income one. No, 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 no. Move faster. Yeah. I think moving faster is pretty important. I think pickup range is also pretty important. Um, yeah. I'm wondering if I have to pick up aimbot to pick up other pistol upgrades. Because it's been offered to me quite a few times now. So that's like something I'm curious about as well. Hopefully it's not the case. Okay, there's spread shot. That's that kind of answers my question. Shoots an additional just pistol shoots an additional projectile, has more spread, and has reduced range. I mean that's fine. We just We picked the long shot a second ago. I feel like we're getting rushed down a little bit more this time. Well, I guess the SMG had better coverage of the fast guys, right? Shotguns penetrate two additional... Shotgun penetration. It's hard to go wrong with that. Uh, we've taken so much damage so early, though. Hopefully we get that regeneration perk. The med kit. I don't... You know what? Let's take... Let's take med kit and see what happens. Maybe... Maybe the regeneration perk is a evolution of med kit. Potentially. Uh, damage and spread of shotgun. That seems pretty good, probably, hopefully. Hopefully, sort of. Taking so much damage. Quarter. No, stay there, XP. No, don't go away. It's hard, you know? You gotta push your way to the XP. And you don't attack particularly fast. Pistol shoots faster. Yes, please. That was a big motorcycle. Oh, no, no, no. Um... Isn't he about to, like, send me a new gun here? Shouldn't that be what's happening? I feel like I should have a new gun coming. I feel like we're in danger. Oh good, it was laying around outside, thanks. Boomerang, credit line, rifle. Um, I guess I'm supposed to take rifle. 
I was hoping to get minigun, but it is what it is. Duelies? Pistol shoot twice in quick succession? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's the one. So much XP here. Uh, penetrate, ret rec recover health while not shooting. Uh, recover health while not shooting. Interesting. Regeneration does exist. Okay. High caliber, probably. There's a lot of blood on the ground. Can't help but notice that. Trigger finger pistol shoots faster. Okay. I'm gonna not fire for a bit here. See if we can heal. Try and dodge things. I mean, our HP is going up. Like, it's, it's working. Um, running man, let's take shotgun damage up. Damage being super relevant. Kind of wish I had damage numbers, but at the same time, it doesn't feel right to have it in this game for some reason. Aimbot, ugh, these are all like not it. Maybe aimbot's fine. Let me be a little bit lazier in the last fight. Actually, can I just like hang out for a bit here? Heal up. Because we're about to summon the boss. He's here. The metal man has appeared. Rubber bullets. Yeah. Oh, we just took a bunch of damage for, like, no reason. Okay, Rubber Bullets was a huge pickup. You gotta watch out for... ...stuff. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Just wanna regen. Uh, multi-purpose rounds. Bullets, pistol bullets move slower, but get an additional penetration bounce. Pistol shoots bigger bullets, but do more damage, but you move slower while firing. Firing. Um. Multi-purpose rounds? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. These don't fire rockets at me, sir. This is not great. All right, we're gonna run to the other side of the blood dome. Oh, he's relocating. Well, I'm healing, so. You do what you gotta do, metal man. He's gonna land again. We gotta use the whole blood dome to our uh, to our advantage. Regeneration is key here. Really want to win. I haven't won yet. You guys know me. If you watch this channel for a while, I'm nothing if not determined. Uh. 
Uh, that wasn't great. Take trigger finger up. What's he doing? I didn't like the sound of that. All right, let's run. Regenerate. I didn't know the motorcycles always come from the opposite side that you're on. It's a nice touch. Oh, he's coming. I don't want him to land right, right there, though. Okay, that ball attack is ridiculous. We almost got the Metal Man. Die, Metal Man, die! Get dicked on! I am the champion of the Blood Dome. It gave me my 657. Holy moly. Bullet Heaven, survive the Blood Dome. Bubble Blower, kill 5,000 enemies. Blade Runner, dash 25 times. Okay. Rank 18. B Man plays. Oh shit. Now I'm gonna have to look at B Man plays up there, taunting me. To do it faster. Alright, let's see what we unlocked. Um, Blade Runner, 100,000, Bubble Blower, it's a weapon, Discerning Customer, Spread Shot, Bullet Heaven. There's a lot of stuff to buy. I'm going to purchase Blade Runner because it's a good movie. And I'm going to purchase Discerning Customer and purchase Compendium and this. And then I don't have money to buy either of those. But you might get new stuff. No. Shows your purchase history. Is there a compendium now to find? There's also music to pick from. Looks like the compendium is right here. Uh, weapons. Looks like I'm missing two weapons. I don't understand how credit line is a weapon, but that's okay. But this is currently what's in. Oh, and it shows you like... Uh, there are potential upgrades that you may have seen or may not have seen. And then perks, it shows you, oh, we're missing like four here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Like, like again, I think this is gonna be a game that's gonna keep you, comp keep you company, keep you occupied for like five, six hours or so, and you'd be really happy in early access at least. Anyways, I think it's coming out on December 12th. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description to the Steam uh, store page if you wanna wishlist it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day, Jeff out. Bye.